Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Salty and this is Salty the Show on YouTube and today I'll be going over my plans for my motorcycle. Okay guys, um, I actually managed to record a bit more than I said I would. If you follow my channel from before, I said I was going out of town, but I managed to record a bit and I put these on delayed releases. So I will actually release some videos when I'm out of town, which is awesome. I love this function of YouTube. So today we'll be going over my plans for my motorcycle and what we're going to do with it this spring. First of all, I put a, I put a full screen picture of my baby she's so pretty um her name is monique and she says suzuki marauder v set 800 from 1998 <clears throat> and the guy i bought her from had just been having her in the garage because he was gonna take his license but didn't which means that she's been standing for two years when I got her. I got her in August. So all work I've done is basically just restoring up what she should be. So I exchanged all the fluids, all the filters, everything like that. Everything that takes damage from just standing still. So I did all, I've done all that already. So we're going to start modding when spring comes around. Well, as soon as I get her, which hopefully will be in a month or something like that. So I'll be showing you the things I have in store for her. Firstly, uh, we're gonna of course install the GPS mount and the GPS charger for the TomTom -tom so I can ride with it. I know I gave that pretty a pretty harsh review, but it's still a good GPS. I'm still gonna use it. It's just a bit overpriced in my opinion. By the way, if you haven't seen my review for the G the TomTom, -tom, you can check the annotation up here and you will get a link directly to that video. The thing I'm looking most forward to uh, when it comes to um, the mods I will be doing it on it is the Batwing. Uh, and I've been in contact uh, with a company called uh, Tsukayo, Tsukayo, well, something like that. I'll put the name on the screen. Um, I don't know how it's supposed to be pronounced, and they're custom making uh, a fitment for it. And I'll also put the picture of the actual uh, Batwing on here. And we'll be putting that on. And then we will be putting some sort of vinyl wrap on it to make it match the rest of the motorcycle. I could leave it gloss black, but I don't think that will do pretty well. So we're going to do something fun with it. That's the good thing about vinyl wrap. It's very cheap and it doesn't take a lot of work, which means that you can try some crazy things. Um, and if it doesn't work, you can just redo it. It's an hour, maybe, work to do it. So it's not really that hard. And it's semi-easy to take the Batwing on and off, so it shouldn't really be a problem. If I feel very rich, I will paint it and try to make it perfectly color matched uh, the rest of the motorcycle but I'm not sure we'll see we'll see uh, it's a bit too expensive to color match it because as you can see on the picture the bike uh, the color of it, it is like dark purple but it kind of depends on which light you're looking at it in it's kind of a it's it goes from black to green to purple depending on where in the light it is it's a truly beautiful color i love it but i can't find anyone that can recreate it in a cheap way so we'll see we'll see we're gonna be doing that and then we're gonna be installing these which is just um, a highway bar uh, that's gonna be real nice firstly because i think it looks nice and i'm either gonna be installing one of these that have like built-in foot pegs or I'll be installing one of these which is just a rounded one and I can add foot pegs to it later if I want to. I'm not quite sure which I think looks best yet. I'm leaning against a rounded one um, but we'll see, we'll see. I will, I will buy and install one of them at least. 
And the main reason I'm getting that is because if I accidentally drop it, they will protect some at least. At least I won't scratch up all the chrome on the side. If you drop it on the side with the exhaust, you're going to scrap out, scratch the exhaust extremely. But if you drop it on the other side, you could actually be fine if it lands on the highway bar and the side bag. So it would, would make repairs a lot cheaper if I should happen to go down uh, at low speeds or standing still. If I should just drop it or something else embarrassing like that. And it gives you a, a secondary place to place your feet when you're riding long long ride so you can change your position a bit uh, so you're more comfortable i've also bought a seat cushion uh, from a company called wild ass i will be giving my review on that but i it's not really worth doing a first impression of it and uh, i need to actually ride long trips to see if it helps because the problem i have right now i get that like in sweden we call it wood taste in the ass Basically, when you sit in the same position for too long, uh, you get kind of weird feeling in your butt um, on your cheeks. So uh, it's supposed to counter that really well. Uh, I need to actually ride long trips with it to see if it works. So I'll be giving a full, full review on it this summer when I've had a chance to go a bit with it. Uh, it was a bit on the expensive side, I feel, for just a cushion, but it's supposed to work really well. So that's why I spent extra money, got the more expensive one. Uh, it's like 1500 kroners. So I'll link it down below. Uh, I got it from um, Handelsbold in the same place I bought my helmet. By the way, if you haven't seen my review on my helmet, you can press the annotation up in the corner and you can see that as well. Those are the major mods I know I'm going to do. Then there's things I would like to do, but only if I get the actual, not time for it, but if I can afford it, really. Um, I would like to buy uh, the company that makes the Batwing, makes beautiful uh, hard saddlebags. Uh, they look like this. And um, I think those would look really nice on it as well, because I want that like bagger feel to it uh, as my main goal. And um, I would like to install proper side bags because now I only have leather ones. They look great. It's not that, but I would like a hard case uh, variety of it. And you could also do those with a nice vinyl wrap. It should actually be easier than the Batwing to wrap, so shouldn't be a problem. And then I would also like to um, to do a new exhaust. Because I, I think the stock exhaust, it sounds fine. It's nothing against it. But I would like to change, at least maybe get a new slip on. Or I would like to put pure drag pipes on it. Um, like a pair of Cobras or Vance and Hines or something like that. That would be awesome. But it's a money issue. It's quite expensive. And if you want any like effective increase of it, you have to buy a full system. Effect isn't really a big problem. This isn't a, <laughs> a race bike in any way or sense of the word. This is just a cruiser and it's meant for cruising. But I think it would look best if I bought an entire new system. And especially with drag pies because it looks so awesome. Uh, so that, that are things I would like to do, but I'm not sure I will be able to afford. But the Batwing is, I've already talked to the guys who are going to make it, and they're working on making the mount. The Batwing is just straight off their site, but uh, the mount needs to be custom made to actually fit my bike, because they don't make mounts for my bike. First, I talked to a company called uh, Memphis Shades to see if they could make a mount for it, because they don't support my Suzuki, which is a bit annoying. Uh, they make a lot of mounts for a lot of different motorcycles, but they don't make mounts for motorcycles that have a top-mounted uh, speedo, speedometer. But the Giaki, or what they're called, they they can custom make it on, on order, which is nice. So we're going to do that. It's a bit on the expensive side, I feel, but it's going to look awesome when it's done, so I forgive them. Well, I demand that it's going to look awesome when it's done, and I'm pretty sure it will. 
so those are the major things we're going to do with it um, this spring. And then we have a lot of other small garage videos that will be coming up. We need to change uh, the spark plugs. We need to change the air filter and small stuff like that. Anyway, I'm rambling again, so I'll cut myself off. So that's basically my plans for this spring and YouTube. So it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. And I hope to see you then for more motorcycle content. Yeah. Okay, guys. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>